the Minnesota Vikings, as we are approaching the NFL trade di- deadline, which will be <clears throat> this Tuesday at 3 o'clock Central Time, uh, 3 p.m. Central Time. And it, it says 3 p.m. Central Time, but really it's Tuesday as a whole. You can still make trades on Tuesday and you can announce them even Wednesday, the day after. So the NFL trade di- deadline is a little bit iffy and can be easily extended. But with that being said, the NFL trade di- deadline will be next week. And the biggest player on the trade block right now would be cornerback Xavier Howard. And the reason why this is surfing around the internet right now and surfing around the Minnesota Vikings is we are the worst cornerback room in football right now. With Patrick Peterson out in the next four matchups that we have, the Minnesota Vikings have the worst cornerback room in football, and we need a lockdown corner like Xavier Howard, 2020 Pro Bowler and first team All Pro in the 2020 season. The biggest player on the trade block, I mean... When, I, when you think about the NFL trade block for the 2021 season, you're thinking Xavier Howard and Allen Robinson. Outside of that, not a very big group of guys when you look at the, uh, the people on the trade block. But right now, Xavier Howard is who we're going to be looking to because that is the guy we need in purple and gold. Because you look at these upcoming matchups. I mean, outside of the Dallas Cowboys. Now, if the Vikings trade for Xavier Howard, he's not going to play against the Dallas Cowboys, even if they trade him uh, today, where it's Thursday today. Even if this happens, he won't be playing against the Dallas Cowboys. But after that, you have Marquise Brown and Holly and um, Rashad Bateman and Sammy Watkins, who you're, who you're going to be playing uh, against the Ravens after that. And then you have Mike Williams and Keenan Allen against the Chargers after that. And then you have the Packers. Do you want to see Bashad Breeland? I'm assuming Patrick Peterson is still out. Would you like to see Bashad Breeland, who's been the worst cornerback in football, going up against Devontae Adams, the best route runner in football? No, you don't. Do the Minnesota Vikings want to compete? It doesn't look like they do. Because if they did, they would have made a move to grab uh, Stephon Gilmore. They would have made moves through more draft capital at the cornerback position. After they already knew what was going to happen with Jeff Gladney, they dismissed the cornerback position as a whole in the draft class. Now you're looking at the cornerback room. Yes, Cameron Dantzler might be a star, but we aren't. We can't confirm that yet. We haven't seen what Cameron Dantzler is made of. Now Sunday Night Football is really going to question that because he is a tough matchup. It's Cameron Dantzler going up against C.D. Lamb, which we saw happen in the 2020 season. We're going to get more into the Cowboys uh, game in a little bit, but we saw how that went last year. It didn't go so well. He also made that great catch on Jeff Gladney, who is no longer with the team as well. So cornerback room as a whole, we just need someone who can lock down these receivers because we haven't seen that since Xavier uh, Xavier Rhodes. I almost lost his Rhodes close. I mean, his two-year run with the Vikings, which was great, where he was arguably the best corner in football. It was really between him and Patrick Peterson at that time. So CBS Sports right now says that the Minnesota Vikings can get Xavier Howard, one of the best cornerbacks in football, by only giving up a 2022 or next year's uh, third round draft pick and then the year after that fifth round draft pick. A third and a fifth for Xavier Howard? Does CBS Sports not realize how valuable of a player this is? Xavier Howard is is coming off of a 2020 Pro Bowl season where he was also a first team All-Pro. Now, on the field, Xavier Howard is one of the best corners in football. He is, and he might arguably be the best cornerback in football right now, Xavier Howard, on the field. You can't just dismiss the fact that he's not a good guy. I mean, off the field has a lot of problems, a lot of locker room problems. I mean, he's seen another drama guy. I mean, we have enough of those in the Vikings team so far. And on top of that, I mean, he had a he was arrested in 2019, something people are forgetting about. Xavier Howard was arrested in 2019 uh, when he had that domestic... Uh, I think it was domestic assault and battery charge. So not a good guy. And that's the reason why maybe a first round draft pick giving it up for Xavier Howard, although he might be one of the best corners in football, might ruin your team. Because if you remember, Antonio Brown went and just destroyed the Las Vegas Raiders, or I guess they were they were probably the Oakland Raiders at the time when uh, Antonio Brown went there. But going from Steelers where you would on the field, great, and then off the field, terrible i mean he was just not a good guy another diva wide receiver that you see all the time in the nfl went to the raiders and just kind of ruined their season and that was a terrible trade for them uh you can't just dismiss the fact that this makes play this plays into the trade this plays into what you're going to give up because on paper Xavier howard you should be giving up two first round draft picks with how he played in the 2020 season now he's not off to a great start so far this season but that is because he's with the miami dolphins and as a whole it's just a laughing stock of an organization when you're looking at this season but minnesota vikings they can give up a first round draft pick i would be all in for only giving up a third and a fifth for him but again i don't think it's going to happen because the dolphins have leverage in this trade Xavier howard is undoubtedly the best player that's going to be on this trade block for this 2021 season and might should be traded by the trade deadline which would be next tuesday so minnesota vikings how can they land 
Xavier Howard is the question here because it's no question that we need him. And the Dolphins have a lot of leverage here. It seems about a third of the league needs a uh, quarterback number one right now. And nobody needs a quarterback with number one more like the Minnesota Vikings. So now that Patrick Peterson is injured, we are the worst cornerback room in football. Bashad Breeland is the lowest ranked corner in football. Mackenzie Alexander has been a huge disappointment. And we really don't know what to what to expect from Cameron Dantzler. And his ceiling is very low. So taking a look into this, how can the Vikings land Xavier Howard? Assuming because the Dolphins do have a lot of leverage here, uh, the Vikings will have to give up a lot to land Xavier Howard, and they're going to have to give up first round draft pick. And you take a look at it, it does seem bad. I hear all around the place that first round draft picks are far too valuable to give up. And now I get it. A majority of f future Hall of Famers, a majority of great draft picks, great players come from the first round. And that makes sense. But you take a look at it right now. You take a look at the upcoming draft. Assuming the Vikings are picking in the 20s. Now, I'd expect that the rest of the season, Vikings go somewhere around even. Maybe they finish the season 10 and 7, uh, get a, around a 10 win team, is what I'm expecting from the Minnesota Vikings. If they finish around a 10 win team, they'll be picking in the 20s in next year's draft. Can you find anybody in the 20s that's going to be similar to how Xavier and Howard plays football? Absolutely not. They can't, especially as a rookie. We need an already developed player like Xavier Howard, who is already a great corner, understands the defensive schematics, and can come to a uh, Adam Zimmer, Mike Zimmer, and uh, Andre Patterson defense and already be able to perform. We need these veteran players on defense if the Vikings want to turn their season around. If you give up a first round draft pick and maybe a day three draft pick, like somewhere in the sixth round, I mean, I wouldn't expect a fifth round draft pick to get, be given up, and the Vikings, Mike Zimmer, uh, and and Rick Spielman can't even give up a seventh round draft pick. So giving up a sixth round draft pick, I believe we have three in next year's draft. So giving up like a first round and a sixth round draft pick for an already developed one of the best cornerbacks in football is what the Vikings have to do if they want to turn the season around because Xavier Howard on Devontae Adams is going to be a lot more relieving than seeing Bashad Breeland out there and get destroyed by Devontae Adams and see Devontae Adams get a 250 yard game, three touchdowns. I mean, it's just what you see because Devontae Adams owns our secondary. It just happens every year, and Vikings still play man coverage one-on-one -on -one against Devontae Adams and never learn their lesson, it seems like. Looking at this, though, Minnesota Vikings, this is the biggest trade that would happen by the trade. No, Deshaun Watson. Okay, I totally forgot Deshaun Watson is on the trade deadline right now. I mean, Dolphins just in general are... are Dolphins seems to always be giving up their players and trying to get new players, and Dolphins are just in a rebuild, and they have been so the last five years. Same with the same with the Lions. The Lions have been in a rebuild my entire lifetime. But uh, you take a look at it though right now. Uh, Deshaun Watson, I guess, would be the biggest trade if it happens by the trade deadline. Which another thing that I'm really confused about is how Deshaun Watson is even eligible to be tra uh, to be traded. Why is he not on the commissioner's exempt list when the guy has about 20 sexual assault alleg allegations? It just kind of shows you how much money is a factor and how much the NFL is really a business not just a sports league, but is also a business as well. And Xavier Howard, again, another player, to domestic assault via, uh, and battery. I mean, something that just you have to take into consideration when making a trade like this. And it's the reason why Deshaun Watson won't be worth three first-round draft picks, even though he plays like he is. No one's going to give up three first-round draft picks for a player like that. That might even be out of the league if he continues to have these allegations. So same goes for Xavier Howard, who's not the best when it comes to off-field. But on the field, that's what we're looking for. We need a player who can perform because we haven't seen it since Xavier Rhodes with the Minnesota Vikings on his Rose closed two-year two -year run with the Vikings. So let me know what y'all think.